Hey everybody, it is Billy at Be Tough, and I am here with the brand new 2023 GMC Elevation from Motor City. They let us take it out, take it for a review. We're gonna show you it. We're gonna show you what's new on the 23, and we're gonna show you why it is a good bang for the buck for those wanting to get into a off-road truck. Let's get into this beautiful 2023 Elevation four-wheel drive GMC, man. This thing is tricked out. You know, the Elevations uh, came on a few years ago, and I remember when they brought them out, it was really nice. They do a couple things. They black out the grills and black out the wheels and pretty much called it elevation. Well, now they've kind of upped them. They've actually made the elevations even a little bit nicer, but they're still not at the price point of where you'd see like a Denali, right? And we'll get into that. There's a lot of cool things on this, but I want to talk about this one. This one was done up by California truck. They put up some upgrades on it. One of the big upgrades they put on it was the shock system. Uh, it went to an adjustable shock and I can tell you that uh, our experience with it, we took it down to LA and it was unbelievable, man. It was really smooth. And that's something too, a lot of times you put aftermarket shocks on and lift them up. They kind of get a weird ride on them sometimes. I'm telling you, I was kind of wondering if this was a factory ride because it was so smooth, you know, but it wasn't. It has some shocks on it and those came out really trick. It's super smooth. Yeah. I just like to pan, pan to the freeway. You can, you can tell they've been working on it, but they're still where there's pieces where they're working on it. And you, yeah. can, you can hear it, but you really can't feel it. You didn't. Really trick. Uh, it also has some rails on the bottom that you can see now this is an option that uh you'd have to look at this is made by go rhino but uh you can get some side steps from the factory on some of the elevation stuff uh you can see here this is really nice this branding right here now this has the california truck branding on it a lot of times people will ask how big a tire they can put on their truck this one's sitting with a lt 295 60 r20 be there there's no rub issues at all and uh yeah it looks really good look at that stance man now this doesn't stick out. It looks perfect in my opinion. This is the way it should look, but that looks really nice. All the vents have been powder coated black. You can see it really matches up nice with this grill. And of course you have the LED lights here, man. And these are really slick. One thing nice about these lights too, is they have an automatic uh, high beam and you don't have to worry about turning it off, you know, on oncoming traffic, it'll, it'll automatically take care of it. And it's amazing because it can spot it from a long distance. You'd be surprised on how far away that it can spot it. Man, the back of this truck looks really trick. Of course, got the Elevation logo there all blacked out. And that looked nice, man. That's so good. Uh, it does have a bunch of cameras all the way around. You got a couple here in the back. You have a bunch on the side and it gives you uh, a video image that looks like a drone's above your truck, right? So you can kind of see what's going on around you. It's really neat technology. Uh, the breakaway tailgate, of course, that's a hit with the GMC. It's really easy to do. You do it with one hand, right? Comes down on its own. Push the button again right here. That comes down, and then of course, you can push that, and that will break away free. Put it back together, super easy. One hand comes up, boom, there. Didn't even need both my hands on that, isn't that nice? But yeah, that's a really nice trick uh, tailgate. Of course, you have the side steps right there. That's really nice when getting in the truck. Uh, I love these exhausts, man. Isn't that cool? The ways that those are molded into the bumper. Yeah, that's really nice. That's super good. So one thing about this truck that I was actually surprised with is the fuel mileage. Um, of course, we'll open this up. It does not have a cap. You just simply put it in there. And we went all the way down to, from Bakersfield to LA and back and had about a third of a tank left, $75 to fill it up. I'll let you do the math on that, but that's pretty good, especially compared to my diesel, which costs a lot more to fill up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was actually pretty good. I was surprised. And it has a lot of get up and go, man. I, I was surprised how powerful this is. It has a V8 in there, but man, is it powerful. All right, so let's get in here. I want to show you the inside. Oh, this is nice too. You know, this is all these white handles. Isn't that nice? So I want to show you this. It's really cool. So here's the interior. They did a really nice job on the design of this. Of course, it's going to be like most of the 2023 GMC trucks. Really nice. And uh, man, doesn't that look polished? Man, it's so nice. So one of the big improvements with the Elevation is that back in the day, if you got one, you had the analog screens. Now, all the Elevations come with the LCD screens, right? Which were only on the Denali's before. So that's a huge upgrade, man, if you're getting an Elevation truck, right? So you're getting a little bit of a discount, but you're also getting this really nice LCD screen. Also too, man, the talk of the town is this beautiful, super HD screen. It looks beautiful at night. It navigates good, connects to your phones easy which the other, the old school ones didn't connect to your phone that great. And I, that's, I know that because I have a 2016 GMC. So these are actually a little bit nicer. Of course, you got your hazards, the tailgates, auto start. That's really cool. You can come to a stop sign and it shuts down the car or the truck and uh, it'll automatically start up. 
So that's really nice technology. You got your lane departure here. That's really nice. And I, I just like how streamlined everything is now, right? And not only that, but it feels like the visibility is like better because it doesn't like, the old dashes used to be pretty high. And now, do you notice that, that they're a little bit lower, right? If you look at it, like you got this, new, this concave here, right? Which kind of maps out the wheel, but then it's like just flat all the way through. Isn't that cool? I love the way that looks. And then it's not just this one piece deal. It's all broken up. So it's, yeah, it looks like a multiple piece thing put together. It's um, nice. This is all streamlined. It's a new design for 23. Uh, it's really nice. It's out of the way. Um, it looks a little bit more sleeker than the stuff they had in the past. You do have two USB ports here. You have USB three and USB C. That's really nice. Now this doesn't have the center console. It has a flip down, but if you have an extra person that you have to take around, it actually works pretty good because you can put three people in the front. All of the controls are set over here for parking. You have your four wheel drive high, lows, and all that stuff. You got some rear lights that go into the back. That's really nice. And here's where you can set all of your headlights and all that good stuff. So as always, GM does a really good job with their instrument panels. Um, everything controlled off this little wheel knob right here. See, it, it has a clicking wheel that you go up and down. And you can ch uh, check everything. You actually check your tire pressures here and you can actually get an adapter that will also look at the trailer. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's uh, really nice, the fuel economy, everything, oil life, all this stuff's really good. That's pretty cool, I didn't even, I've never seen that before. Brake pad life, okay. I didn't even know that was a thing, but I guess you can now in the GMC trucks. They did add a few inches a few years back, and uh, you can see back here, not only that, but everybody has their own air now. These air vents weren't there on older models, and you can see a USB-C and another USB charger input. And you also have a plug. I'd imagine this is a plug, yep, for household items. That works out really good. There is a storage compartment here that works out pretty good. Whatever you might want to put there, that works out really nice. And then these go up really easy. I did that with one hand. And this is a big improvement as well. And that is that they have this divider now. So things you may put here, you can put stuff here and it won't go sliding into people's foot area. So that's a really big improvement as well. You can put up one side or the other. Oh, look at that, dude. Oh, my daughter's gonna be so stoked. I found her glasses. In my opinion, the Elevation is the best bang for the buck that Motor City offers. I said it before and it still holds true today. You can take them right out of the lot and they look good or you can upgrade them like this one that California Truck did. There's no going wrong with it. And you'll have a truck that looks really nice and you won't be at the price point of a Denali, but you'll still look good going down the road. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is our review of the 2023 Elevation at Motor City.